Alrighty, we look good to go. Uh, I played against this opponent before. I wonder who this is. Yeah, we are ready to rumble. It's gonna be great. Uh oh, Mardu guy is on the loose. On the loose. The loose goose. What do we have here? Soulfire Grand Master. Will be an excellent target for my Kolagon's command. Roast Impulse Chandra, Dark Dwellers. Alright, so they have some removal. Uh, I'm gonna take a little screenshot of this. So I don't forget it. And I'm gonna take the Chandra. And I think we'll just move on with our lives. So their Dark Dwellers isn't doing much because I'm not gonna let them use the removal, at least not yet. Discard a card, studio creature. Uh oh. I can't absent charm because they have a mountain. What's going on here? Alright, little Mardu Green strategy. Discard fire impulse, no surprise there. Leaving them with roast, dark dwellers, and smoldering marsh, which they just played. So roast, dark dwellers, and a cod. Uh, should I fetch first? No, because if I draw a Fumeral, I'm going to want to play it. Alright, Jory ends tight. Tight! So, the one other thing that I wanted for this deck was some life gain. Uh, Captain Rhino. Uh, I should probably start fetching swamps here. <coughs> I guess these can fetch Sunken Hollow, so that's okay. Trigger! We did it! It's already paying off. Then they'll probably have to roast this Jory. Yup. Leaving them with Dark Dwellers. And then I get to play Dark Dwellers. K Command back my Jory. Which is sweet. I recommend not flashing back Painful Truce with this card. Discarded Dark Dwellers, good God. Yeah, I want some life gain in this deck. Well, it's possible I should just not be fetching here. I'm at six. It's pretty low. So I could Dark Dwellers or I could wait a turn and play it with Jory. I can just play Jory now, I guess, but then I don't get a card. It's possible I should have Wild Slash instead of Impulse because I have Jory. Because this would be a nice spot for me to like play it and play Slash. Ah, I feel like I should just play Dark Dwellers. Dark Dwellers and Duress. Alright, so they have a Dark Dwellers left over, that's fine. If they draw land, they can Dark Dwellers Crackling Doom, and then I can Jory Roast. Okay, there's a Soul Fire, so that's fine. So I can play Jory, Impulse, and draw a card. So 
So I'm kind of crushing them on the card advantage front, but I, I want some life gain. So low on life. Flames for three. Womp womp. So if they ever draw a land and play Dark Dwellers into Crackling Doom, then if I fetch, I'm within Rhino or Crackling Doom range, so I'm just not going to fetch for right now. There's a Fumarole, that's good. I could use another Threat. What do we got here? Colagon's Command, that's kind of what it seems like. Get back Rhino is pretty nice. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, uh, two to me. That's so gross. All right, so there's Rhino. I'm at one life, and they have a Shambling Vent. Uh, so it's pretty nice that I did not fetch. All right. So if they draw a land, I'm dead, because they get to Crackling Doom me. Oh no, they, they had the vent, never mind. I am silly. Yep, so I'm just dead. Boo, just got burned out. I don't think they ever, they attacked me once with the soul fire. <laughs> oh, Kalidus, where were you? All right, so I like the truths, despite what happened last game. I'm gonna try the transgresses. I could see self-inflicted wound because it hits Rhino and Soul Fire, but I think I'd rather just have Roast. Roast and Ruinous Path and Murderous Cut, those removal spells all seem better. Yeah, Grass kills Dark Dwellers too, so I, w I want some impulses to deal with Shambling Vent. I may also want to just like cut a Duress. Bring in some strokes, because those are like their best cards against me. <coughs> eh, maybe with like grasp and murderous cuts and blockers, I don't need to kill shambling vents. That's entirely possible. I have too many good cards. That's an issue. That is an issue. All right, I'm gonna try cutting these duresses. Not a huge fan of that, but what are you gonna do? I'd love to play first. It is good, not great. I do have Jason too, so it's not like I can really complain. It is probably going to die a horrible death, though. If I had to guess. Well, now if it dies a horrible death, we could maybe bring it back if we draw land. <clears throat> so, get Swamp because of Kalidus. Obviously, if I just draw another Swamp, I can't play Jory, but, you know, that's, that's kind of the issue. That's just going to be a thing no matter how you swing it. Alright, what is this? Roasty. Roasty Toasty. Hase down. I think I like just running out Jory. It's possible I could save it for a murderous cut turn, though. It's possible I should just have them discard Bring Back Jace. Well, I like that. All right. We are Murderous Cut Rich. Or Murderous Cut Flooded, depending on how you want to look at it.
So again, we're kind of crushing them in the card advantage departments. We just need to keep that party going. Hmm. Discard a card myself. Should I discard a cut or a roast? I think a cut. Maybe I should have just returned Jory in. Maybe I should have just passed the turn. Return Jory, and then if they play a creature, I could play it and Murderous Cut. Might have been a better line than just trying to stick Jace. Moo. So they fetched Main Phase. It's possible their last card is Murderous Cut, but... Oh, I can't even play Kalidus and Cut. That's a tilt. Tilt. Temple of Tilt. Well, I guess I will just Roasty Toasty it. Tap on black for no real reason. It's all right though. I'm probably not gonna be not gonna have to stroke and cut. You can give back Colgon's command. That's pretty bad for me. I should probably counter that. Well, they're out of cards. It's Kalita's time. Please no Dark Dwellers. Alright, just Shambling Van. I can beat that. Hiya! You gonna try blocking with your vents? A, ris a risky proposition, I think. Hell yeah. This is how we pull ahead. This is how we do it. Certainly go for the wind moors here with the dark dwellers on the Golgon's command and the yada yadas. Well, all my murderous cuts have been great, so that's cool. Granted, I discarded one of them, but. That game was pretty easy. Pony kind of flooded out. I didn't really. Yeah, I like the hard removal. I think I like cutting the impulses and the dresses. It's just too likely that those cards brick, and I think you want all your draws to be live. Obviously, there are some exceptions where, like, you know, you draw a transgress where they don't have a hand or a stroke when they already have a board presence, but I like what we're working with. I like it. Well, this one's a little slow. I guess our opponent mulliganed last game, too. That sort of helped. Yeah, this one is slow and doesn't really have removal. It's got power. A lot of power. A lot of threats. I'm going to ship it, though. Sand's much better, I think. I think I'll keep that. I kind of just have my opponent covered every which way now. I think I want to just transgress them. No! Alright, that's cool. So I imagine they have another fetch lane that's going to get them red, and then they have like Crackling Doom or whatever. Hmm. I feel like I should play Jace on a turn where they're going to where they're gonna want to play a Rhino or something. Oh no, they have their own transgress. They did have a crackling doom. Doom cut, transgress, truths. So 
Guess I have to take Painful Truths because I can't really beat it. So now they have Doom Caught X. Snap took my Cletus. Not concerned about my murderous cut whatsoever. I think I just want to play the Marsh, because I don't really want to fetch a basic. I want to fetch blue-black with this. But it's possible I draw a different land, and then maybe I want to keep the fetch land to get a basic. All right, so they still have Doom Cut X. Well, guess I just run Jace out there. I can't really get much protection. So I'll do this, and then if they kill it right away, I can cut their soul fire if I want to. It's not a huge problem. It's not a huge problem since they don't have a lot of mana. If they draw a rhino, I'm in bad shape. To draw a land to play Rhino, rather. I don't know. I feel like I have a lot of removal spells. So even if they draw a Rhino or draw a land to play a Rhino, I'm still okay. I could transgress them. Could also just run in the Fumarole, but I'd rather transgress, I think. Rhino, Doom, Obnixilis. So Obnixilis would be at six. They're a ways off of casting it, so I'll leave them with Doom and Obnixilis and take the Rhino. Don't really want to trade my Fumarole for Crackling Doom, but maybe that's right. Would kind of just prefer to have the Fumarole to attack an Obnixilis. It's tough, though, because if I draw, like, a Kalidus or something, I'm not going to want them to still have that Crackling Doom. So that's pretty awkward. Kind of just need a breaker. Another Fumarole. Or that! Painful Truths! Ship it! Ship some crads. I think I'm going to leave the foothills to discard the Cold Guns command. Alright, still nothing. Oh, good god. Oh, good god. Is that a good card? Is that a good card? Not sure what they can have to deal the last three to Chandra. That's why it's so nice. Five loyalty is so many. Now they can play Obnixilus or whatever, but who cares? Just kill it. Uh, Dark Dwellers? Dude, that's not even good. You gonna do Crackling Doom me? 
Whatever, man. So I could awaken this ruinous path, or I could keep holding open stroke. I think I just want to hold open stroke. I could be wrong about that, though. Mm, I think I want to awaken. Because if my opponent does deal with my Chandra, I'm going to want the threat. I mean, I still have Fumarole, but I think I want the other thing too. This deck is kind of gassy. Oh, it just needs a life gain spell. Something that gains life, just incidentally. I don't want to play like Stream of Life or whatever, but... Play a creature that gains life? So far, Grandmaster is always kind of the glue. Alright, Moo Cow. Guess I'll just peel a roast. Good way to deal with you. Put you on the old two turn clock. Counter spells open, no big deal. NBD, as the kids say. Even if they kill my Chandra without walking into my strokes, I still have Swamp and Fumarole. So I think my spot is pretty good. I'm still at seven also, which helps. I'll just counter that, because why not? I have these kind of dead strokes I'm sitting on anyway. That'll do. We defeated the Rhinos and Omnixilises and Goblins.